Welcome back everyone. Today what I want to do is give you a quick introduction to Hanyuan 3D Mesh Generation inside Comfy UI. If you don't want to miss my next video, hit that subscribe button, because YouTube ain't going to tell you. So, first of all, I've written an article, the link will be in the description, which gives you a link to everything you need to get started. So there'll be a link to the Kijai wrapper you have to either clone or download, unzip and put into your custom nodes folder. There will also be a link to my install portable bat for Comfy UI portable users, so you can easily install the requirements quickly. Uh, there's also a link to the main Hunyuan 3D uh, you know, generation model. Those weights are going to go into the diffusion models folder. And then finally, like I said, this is the bit that can be a little tricky for everybody. Um, but I know that the portable is using this, so this is the this is this is the version which I'm using, okay, uh, in, with Windows 11. Like I said, always read his full instructions, which are in his GitHub, because you might find that you have a different system to me, and so you might find you're using a different wheel. But the wheels are included in the GitHub download, so you already have them on your machine. And like I said, I just ran this command because. I'm a portable user. And then that will give you uh, this workflow, which is also this image. This is an embedded workflow image. It's a screenshot generated from inside Comfy. Um, and that will give you this workflow. And what it is, is I have a T-pose. This is the famous T-pose that used to be up on my showcase for like months. So we get it. We've generated this with open pose to a with a text prompt and face swapped it and upscaled it and all that good stuff. So this is our character. He's going to get sent in to background removal. All right. It's going to start making the mesh up using depth and all kinds of stuff here, as you can see. And then we're going to do delight. All right. Which gives us this rough version again. And then we're going to go through here. I think, yeah, I think that's delight. Yeah. Delight. And then this one, we do the 3D render multi-view, and you can connect this here if you wanted to set your own, but these are the defaults, as it says right there. I've just adapted the example. The main thing I did was I put in this additional step, and you can obviously bypass it just by hitting B or M, whichever one you want. Um, I would do that to bypass, so it just runs straight through. But anyway, what this is doing is it's going to do a uh, one pass refiner upscale and then a force uh, 4x upscale and then what we're going to do is then shrink it back down to 1024 and then you'll end up with something like that so we'll go from this <laughs> to to this <laughs> whether that's a good thing or not is completely up to you i mean it's just introducing the idea you can change the upscale and maybe refine this a little bit but anyway my 3d model's gone so i've opened up the glb file there it is now it's not the best okay but you can do it again you can have lots of different tries of doing this um and yeah obviously you can see what the textures actually look like here i always think this is crazy this auto could look like half of his face is like upside down here and the other side is is here but i guess that's just the way that's just the way the uv wrap got done so going back to the oh yes and then of course here we have his actual article which contains much more information and you should always keep this up to date because he's often updating it it's quite an active um it's quite an active project at the moment so thank you key jai for another amazing project so this is another thing which gives us a capability now we can generate 3d models so that's the first workflow the workflow is going to be in my github but i've also put a link on uh the article so obviously you've got the link there to the workflow and then it's also embedded in this image so there it is have some fun uh, generating mesh generating meshes from your images so there it is. Thank you very much. I shall see you next time.